you want to know how I turned this pregnant body cast into this magnificent mosaic masterpiece? Well, let me show you how. If you would like to purchase a copy of my instructional PDF, I will leave a link in the description box below. First, you will need to pick up some non-toxic plaster wrap from your local art store. Next, you will have to prepare the plaster wrap by cutting it into several different lengths. Once your strips of plaster are prepared, you're going to want to apply a liberal amount of Vaseline or baby oil to the part of the body that's going to be cast. Dip the plaster one strip at a time into a bucket of warm water. When applying the strips, start from the top and move your way down. It is very important to smooth the plaster with your fingers because any lump in the cast will be seen in your final product. Be sure that you are applying three or more layers, especially on the edges. The more plaster wrap, the sturdier your piece will be. Work quickly. The plaster wrap has a very fast dry time. As the plaster dries, you will start to feel the cast pull away from your body. Suck your tummy in and wiggle your way out. Place the cast front side down on a towel and allow it to dry for a good 24 hours before moving on to the next step. Lay your cast on a flat surface to ensure it will hang flush to the wall once hanging. Cut off any edges that may be preventing your piece from hanging correctly. You can purchase these products at your local hardware store. It is very important to purchase the flattest screw that you can find. Place your hardware at least 4 inches from the top of the cast on the flattest surface to allow the washer to lay flush. Place one washer on the front side of your cast and insert your screw. Flip your cast over and place the second washer, the ring hook, and then secure it with the nut. Now you can move on to the next step. Prepare an area to plaster your cast. Mix the plaster of Paris with water until it's the consistency of a heavy cream. A very thin coat of plaster is all you need to make this piece sturdy and to conceal the hardware. Plaster the front side first and then turn it over and plaster the back side. Allow the piece to dry on the front side down for several hours before moving on to the next step. If there are any small lumps on your cast, smooth them out with some water and your hands. If these lumps still remain the next day, you can use a coarse sandpaper 60 grit to remove them. If you already have a design in mind for your cast, draw that on to your piece with a pencil. Once you're finished, you can start tiling. If you decide that you do not want to tile, you can paint or even decoupage your cast instead. In this case, skip to step seven. You can use tile or stained glass to mosaic your piece. If using stained glass, cut up your pieces with tile cutters. If using tile, place the tile shiny side down and break it up with a hammer. It is very important to stay organized for this step. I like to use these plastic bins to keep my area nice and tidy. Apply a small bead of glue directly to your piece, or you can spread out a thin layer onto a small area. Choose your pieces of tile or stained glass carefully. Place them together like a puzzle piece. Remove any excess glue with a wooden stick. Once the glue has dried, you can prepare an area to grout your piece. Scoop some sanded grout into a cup and add water. Mix this until it comes to a creamy consistency. Then wait 10 minutes before grouting. Wipe the grout onto the cast with a gloved hand. Apply pressure to ensure the grout gets into every crevice. You can dip your hand in a little bit of water if you need to help smooth out the application of the grout. Once you feel your piece is well covered, wipe away any excess grout using a damp rag or a damp paintbrush. Once it's wiped clean, you can flip it over and grout the edges. The edges are easier to grout when the grout is thicker. Lightly spritz the grout with a spray bottle and wipe the edges smooth with your hand, and then allow the piece to sit for about 20 minutes. Continue to clean your piece using damp rags or a damp paintbrush. Once the grout has cured, you can even use a coarse scrub brush. Continue to spritz your piece every hour for about 8 hours until the grout has cured. I like to Mod Podge the inside of my piece. It just gives it a more finished look. Apply a thin layer of Mod Podge and then a small square of fabric with another layer of Mod Podge over top. Next, string some picture wire through the ring hook and secure it with a ferrule and stop set or simply wind the wire around itself. 
Lastly, you're ready to hang your piece. Use a picture hook that is appropriate for the size and weight of your piece. Wait three days for the grout to cure before hanging.